is going on. But I think that's a testament to not everything's forever. Not everything lasts forever. And that's how I've always looked at things and mm-hmm. why I've, I feel like I've always diversified as much as possible and why I have all these different things because nothing lasts forever, no matter how good it's going. At some point, that thing is going to end. So you better have something else going on that you can bank on or after that one thing stops, okay, I'm going to shift my focus over here to this other thing I have going on and build that up. You know what I mean? So I've seen and heard countless stories of, you know, that one thing, it's going to stop or it does stop. And then it's like, okay, now what? So um, even I remember, dude, there was this uh, when I was making really good money off YouTube, like really good money. And my mom, I remember I was talking to her about something about YouTube and I said something about like, yeah, I don't, I don't touch any of that YouTube money. Like I don't spend it. I put it into a savings because I was just like, I know it's not going to last. And I want to, I want to find a way to like invest and use that money in the future for something else. Like Mm -hmm. I know, like I'm not out here like making 15 racks a month to like blow 15 racks a month on like random stuff. That's not going to like benefit my future in any way. And so like, I always saved that money and I bought my first house with that, which turned into <laughs> like, sick. which turned into the Airbnb, which then turned into me getting a, buying another house and turning that into an Airbnb, which turned, you know what I mean? And I wouldn't have been able to do that stuff if I just willy nilly like spent that money thinking like, yo, I'm about to keep racking it up yeah. for years. And, yeah. and so, yeah, just being smart about stuff and looking more long term, but um, yeah, nothing, whatever you're doing, it's not going to last forever. This one kind of goes with the first question, but, um, they said, has he ever doubted himself whenever it oh. comes to the opening a new studio or business? hundred yeah. percent. Everyone doubts themselves. Like, I don't care who you are. You doubt yourself. Like you're, you're a human being. Like you have doubts. And, uh, the very first, when I bought honeymoon, it was just like, yo, is this the dumbest thing like well we knew we wanted to buy a house to live in but we were buying that specific house because it looked old because it looked old like yo we're gonna we're gonna furnish it to look like a vintage house we're gonna turn it into like this vintage film studio but we spent all this time and money i mean that furniture mid-century modern furniture is not cheap and so it's like that first month two months of like moving in hunting down all the furniture buying it it was just like yo this is is this like are we is this gonna work like is this the dumbest thing we've ever done like should we be focusing our energy on something else and so yeah i mean even with the very first one it's like doubted ourselves you know like you just it's natural to have like oh what if this doesn't work like but you know um but it worked and then even then like catapulting that into eclectic west like we had success with honeymoon right away and that's what led me to like even wanting to do eclectic and then once it came down to signing that dotted line for eclectic it was like "Ah, is this the right move like should i be buying a property in the middle of the desert an hour and a half away from la like or is there a (laughs) better way to spend my money and so yeah i think with any new big opportunity challenge risk there's always going to be that that little bit of doubt like yeah i don't know about this so now that you're seeing that success do you think you'll continue to have those waves of doubt 100 percent. every i don't care how successful you are on one thing that doesn't mean you're going to be successful in the next thing like and when you're throwing that much money at it it's risky yeah scary so yeah i don't think there will you'll ever i mean i'm i'm sure i could speak for plenty of directors entrepreneurs whoever else out there when they're starting something new there's always going to be that inkling of doubt like yo i'm about to spend all my time energy and money into this new thing what if it doesn't work is there something else better i could be doing with my time or money like i don't i don't care who you are there's there's going to be those those inklings of doubt yeah in my opinion but yeah maybe other people think differently but that's what that's what i think so 